Droid. Hello and welcome to DroidXForums.com video tutorial guide on how to SPF your Motorola Droid X. Before we begin, make sure that you have downloaded the following, the SPF file, the Motorola drivers, and RSD Lite 5.3.1. I have Windows 7 64-bit, so I'll be showing you the 64-bit driver installation. If you have 32-bit Windows, then install the 32-bit drivers. Begin by double-clicking on the installation file, choosing Run. You will then be see the installation prompt. Click Next. Check on I Agree. Then click Next. Because the installation takes a few minutes and there is nothing for you to do, I will skip to the end. Once it's finished, click on close. Next you will need to install RSD Lite 5.3.1. Just like last time, double click the installation file. Click next. Check I agree then next. Then choose your installation folder. I chose the default. Then click next. Again we will be skipping the actual installation. Make sure that when you run RSD Lite you run it as an administrator. Right click RSD Lite then properties then the compatibility tab. Under privilege level make sure that the run program as an administrator is checked. In other Windows versions, you will right-click RSD Lite and choose Run as an Administrator when you launch it. Now I'm going to show you that the current software version of this Droid X is version 596. As you can see, it shows version 4.5.596. We will be SPFing this phone to 340 today. To begin, you will need to power off the phone so that we can boot into the bootloader. Now this is done by pressing the camera button, the volume down button, and the power button. Press and hold both the camera button and the volume down button at the same time, then press and hold the power button. When the screen flashes, release power followed by the other buttons. You will now see the bootloader. This is where you can program your phone with new software. Next we will launch RSD Lite. Remember to launch it as an administrator. Then click on the three dots. This opens up the file manager. Locate the SBF file, click on it, and then click open. The properties of the SBF file will now appear in the file properties pane of RSD Lite. Next we will connect the phone to the computer. First. Plug the USB cable into the computer and then plug it into the phone. The bootloader will say Transfer Mode USB. And in RSD Lite, the phone will say Status Connected. Now click on Start. This process takes about 10 minutes and there's nothing for you to do while it programs the phone. Because this process is so lengthy, I will skip to the end. RSD Lite has just finished flashing the phone, and the phone is now rebooting. A quick note on boot loops. If you experience a boot loop, you will need to pull the battery, reinsert the battery, Hold down the home button, then turn the phone on. When you see the triangle, release home and press the search button. Using the volume keys is up and down and the camera button is enter. Choose factory reset, 
then yes. And when the phone is finished, choose reboot. RSD light should now show pass under the result column. Once your phone is rebooted, you are now done. As you can see, I go to settings, scroll down to about phone, and the version now reads 340 or Froyo. This is showing us that our SPF was successful. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that it's been helpful for you. More help can always be found at www.droidxforums.com. Have a nice day.